Alright guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some methods on how to make some labels for your drawers using the Avery website. Alright, so first off we're going to start out with the uh, Avery webpage here. It's www.avery.com. Um, you're going to need an account, um, so if you just set up an account. Um, obviously I've already got one set up. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that. It's kind of self-explanatory. But once you uh, get your account set up, you're going to go to templates and Avery design and print. We're going to start designing. And then depending on the type of labels that you're using, uh, you can choose whatever template you want. Um, Today we're going to be using 5267, and this is the 80 count sheet of uh, address labels. So we're going to click on that, selecting this template, but we're just going to go with the blank design here. All right, now once it's up, I'm, I'm going to show you two methods today. Um, the first method was the method that I used initially. This one I think is simpler. It's not as adjustable or as customizable. All right, so you're gonna have all these options. You're gonna hit more, QR and barcodes, add barcode, and then we're gonna do sequential numbers. Sequential numbers again, add sequential number. And then it's going to bring you to this field here. So, um, depending on how you label your drawers, some label them starting at one and they go all the way to 10,000 or however they want to do it. Uh, some folks are labeling them by columns uh, using kind of a number, a letter number combination. Um, I'm using a letter number combination. Uh, I have a each each column has a, a two letter identifier and then I number the drawers one through 240 because that's how I have my acromills stacked so uh, I'm going to use that as the example uh, if you're just using straight numbers you don't have to use the prefix or the suffix here but in my case uh, I'm going to go from 1 to 240 I'm going to have a prefix for each column so my column my first column is going to be column AA uh, my second column would be AB, my third column would be AC. Uh, I described that in an earlier video. And then we want leading zeros because if I don't put the leading zeros in there, it's just going to go AA1 as opposed to AA001. Um, so I'm going to put a 3 in here because that's how many numbers I want displayed. So, so this will show AA001. You'll see that here in a, in a second. And then we're just going to go add. All right, so now I want to take this uh, this number right here, and I'm just going to click it and drag it over to this alphanumeric special characters. So that gives the uh, your template the information that it needs to do those sequential numbers. Um, for the labels that I did before, I actually had this on code 39x because I found that it gave me the lowest profile of barcode. So uh, I'm just going to click on that. You guys can play with them. Uh, they've got uh, QR codes and, and whatever else. Um, so for this technique, we're going to use code 39x. And then i got to go back and put that back in. Uh, you can change the dimensions. Um, 10 is fine. I found you know you can play with it as you as you want but I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 8 I'm gonna unclick use check digit because I honestly don't know what that does and the tutorial video that I watched said to unclick it so you can do what you want play with it as you want but I'm gonna unclick it and then we're gonna display text below the, the code uh, as it's kinda shown here we're gonna hit finish and there's your barcode now you can adjust this a little bit. Um, I changed my bar height to 20. I left the dimension X is 8 and then I 
my final version of my uh, old labels, the width was 1.8576. Sorry. All right, and then as you see, it, ex it uh, expanded it out. And I'm just moving it to center it in the middle of the label. Now you'll see that it's got this red border around it. That just means that it that um, the system is showing that it's outside the printable or the safe printable area. Um, however, as you can see, the barcode itself and the numbers are inside the dotted line, which is the the safe print area. However, because the edit box is outside the safe limit area, it, that's why it's red. Uh, I found that I didn't have any problems printing them uh, at this size. So, um, so yeah, so that's method number one. And as, as I could, said before, you can adjust the, the size. It, it's a locked ratio, so uh, no matter which one of these you play with, it's going to keep the same ratio. You can change the bar height as we did before, uh, you know, 37 here, and then that's going to change the bar height, but obviously oh, I moved it. Um, the ratio is going to stay the same, so you're going to lose a lot of real estate on your label if you keep the bar height. However, it is easier to scan uh, with the bar height this high and maybe you find that you don't like the numbers you can go back into the edit barcode and get rid of the display text below and that'll just leave the barcode however I found it beneficial to have the barcode or the the number so so yeah so that's method number one method number two um, we're gonna go ahead and start all over here um, so we're going to go back to design and print, start designing. And I'm just doing this to get a clean slate. I could have probably deleted everything. Um, five, two, six, seven. And probably been just fine. But uh, I figured this will get the slate clean and then we can just go from there. All right, so second method in involves using this import data and mail merge. So. Uh, before I even click on that, uh, I'm going to open up an Express, Excel spreadsheet here. So I got Excel. We're just going to do a blank workbook. All right. As far as using these for drawer numbers, um, you just need to use one column. Uh, you can play with this to use multiple columns if you like, but um, you only need one column. And if you're doing just strictly numbers, uh, you can put the first number in here, 1001. Click out of the box. Uh, you're going to have to adjust this, sorry. Format cells. And we want text. And 0001. And then click on that and we're just gonna go down however many you want like I said you can go down to 999 this way and then that gives you all these numbers right um, so you can do it that way and then uh, when you import it, it'll import those for me I used AA001 and then I can just click and drag on that and it'll bring them out and then uh, I found this more beneficial because in this method I can put all my drawer numbers in if I wanted to so if I could I could do my next column and then uh, expand those out and then do my next column AC001 and then expand those out obviously I would go down to uh, 240 uh, for each column uh, that way I had all the numbers and then I save this so file save as and we're gonna save this in downloads just so that it's easy to find and we'll go drawer number example all right and then we're gonna save that all right and then we exit out of that then we go to import data mail merge 
and we're going to start import merge. We're going to browse for the file. Again, it's going to be in documents, or sorry, downloads, door number example. We're going to open that up, and it's going to show all the numbers that it's importing. So AA1 through 11 in this case, and all the way through to the numbers that we added, right? So we're going to hit next. Now we're going to take the field and we're going to just click it and drag it over and put it in the arrange fields. Now this is if you have uh, multiple columns. Uh, you can arrange them however you want. Like if you're doing uh, address labels, an example, you know, you have one column for the names, one column for the address, one column for the zip code, etc. So you can arrange those the way that you want. In this case, we're just doing numbers, so it's no big deal. And we're going to edit, uh, we're going to keep just finish that and it's going to put it in here right so now I can take it and I can move it however I want I'm going to center it up on the line I'm going to come over and change the uh, the font size and just oops so as you can see you can change it and I found a good size to be about 18 using uh, Arial here, so we're just gonna go center that back up. And now you've got your numbers, right? So now you go in here to barcodes, and we're gonna add a barcode, and we're gonna use a spreadsheet. And the information's already in there, so we're just, well, we're gonna pick our. Uh, our type of barcode first. Um, the way that I'm doing this one uh, in the format that I like, uh, I'm going to use this barcode or this code 128. So we're going to click on that, not display the text below because we've already got the text in there. And then we're moving the data in over, hitting finish. And again, you can play with the, the width and whatever else. Um, I'm going to change the bar height to 30. And the dimension to eight and uh, eight seven eight five is a good height. And then I'm just going to move that, center it. And as you can see, I got the number and I've got the barcode. And I actually like the way this looks better than my old uh, labels. So I'm I think I'm going to transition to all this uh, eventually. But all my new drawers going forward is going to have this format. So I actually don't like that quite so high. So I'm going to move it down just a little. And we stayed within the print uh, safe zone here. The barcode, again, like I said, is outside the, the safe print area. So that's what the edit area is outside. So that's why it's red. But like I said, as long as you keep the actual printed portion inside the safe area, you're going to be okay. And I find that my printer actually prints a little bit off to the side. Um, so I like to move these just a little bit to the right. And then that centers it up on the label. And then I, there is a way, uh, once you go to print and preview, uh, again, this is just warning me because the barcodes are outside of the safe area, but I don't care. So I'm just going to print anyway. Print yourself. And this is going to show all those barcodes. I'm not sure which one it's duplicating. Um, it's probably duplicating just a blank zeros or whatever. I, I'm not sure. Um, but then you you can adjust the print alignment right here. Uh, I just found it easier to move the barcodes over a little bit as opposed to messing with the print alignment. So uh, you could get PDF to print. Uh, you can save. I'm not going to save this one. And then you can either open the PDF uh, to view it or you can download the PDF. Uh, I just download it, but we can open it up and take a look at what it looks like. And. Yep, so there it is. Those are the labels. And then uh, 
because you're using the spreadsheet, it's easily customizable. You can go in there and put, you know, say you just one of your labels got messed up, right? You can just go in here and put AC003 and then AD044 or whatever. And then you can customize the spreadsheet, import the spreadsheet, then uh, use the barcodes to uh, to fix everything. All right, so, so far we've gone through this with um, using barcodes, but um, a simpler way to use this, not using barcodes, I've seen a lot of uh, folks on YouTube and Instagram or whatever, and they're writing their drawer numbers with their hand on their drawers, um, or you know they're using the label maker, uh, the brother label maker or similar label maker, to uh, to make labels for their drawers. However, if you wanted to do something a little bit easier and a little bit simpler, you just instead of using a barcode obviously you just use the drawer number and we're gonna just center this up uh, doesn't want to center there it goes alright so we center this up increase the size a little bit and and then you've got drawer labels uh, which uh, you know you go out and buy this this pack of uh, template 5267 uh, you get these address labels you make your spreadsheet you put all your numbers in you know obviously 0001 and then you just drag it until you get as many drawers as you have and then upload it in here print them off and you've got easily to apply drawer numbers uh, I feel that this is even more easy than uh, handwriting all the numbers on all the drawers with a sharpie uh, you just go in here and print these off, and then you just apply them. I feel that's a, a, an easier method. I hope all of this makes sense to to you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.